on that. We're ultra excited to share about the new features that we've just released with Codogen ID plugin V0.12, uh, including these three features that we want to present today. One, uh, enabling you, the developer, to focus the model to adhere to best practices that you can write yourself. Two, model selection, including Sonai 3.5 and 01 preview, as an example. And three, autocomplete, we really revamped and improved meaningfully. So I'm going to pass the torch to Jed, to Deddy, but just before that, I want to show you how you can get all that. You go to the VS Code Marketplace or JetBrains Marketplace, search for Kodo Gen, Q-O-D-O, and then make sure to switch to the pre-release version because a lot of these uh, features are not yet released to the main version, which we're going to um, make it happen like next week. Uh, Deddy, it's all yours. Thanks, Itamar. Let me go ahead and share my screen one second. No problemo. Perfect. Can you see my screen? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Uh, great, hey, everyone. So um, at uh, Codo, we really help, our focus is to help organizations make sure that they leverage uh, Gen AI smartly to generate code that is aligned with their specific best practices uh, code is of high quality that is well reviewed and well tested. Um, now that is challenging with LLMs that typically respond kind of generic responses that are not necessarily aligned with your specific code. So, so what do I mean by that? I'm going to start without best practices. Okay. So here I have the limit lines function uh, here, um, and I'm going to just give a generic instruction to uh, refactor this uh, function, this to the model. Um, and here I'm, I'm using Codogen, our ID plugin. Um, it's currently, as I mentioned, it's not using best practices. Um, uh, it not, it's not using my specific best practices and it's giving some suggestions. So these are some uh, some things that could be useful, but they're not, they might not be aligned with my specific best practices that I want the code to, to adhere to. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna demo our new feature for adding best practices. So in order to do that, I have to uh, add a new file uh, to the root uh, folder. So I'm going to uh, create a new uh, file here in the root folder. I'm going to call it bestpractices.mb. Notice that it needs to be in the root folder uh, for the system uh, to read it. Um, and it needs to be called exactly best underscore practices.md. Okay, and in this file, I'm going to paste here a set of best practices that I've prepared uh, in advance. So these are best practices for Python, uh, focus here is on clean code and performance, uh, but really you can put here anything uh, you would like um, to kind of really align the output that you're getting from Codogen uh, in the chat to have it really align with your specific best practices. Okay, we are also working on a next generation of this where we're going to automatically generate this file for you or an initial uh, set of best practices for you so that then you can iterate on them and maybe tweak them. Uh, but that's coming up next. But uh, 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 for the time being, you can put here whatever best practices you would like the model to adhere to. Okay, so I save this. Now I'm gonna go back to the chat. Uh, okay, I'm going to kind of refresh this. Uh, let me go back to my file and refresh chat and I put it back on limit lines. This is the same function. Uh, and I'm gonna give it the same exact prompt, okay? Refactor this function. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so now Codogen is taking into account my specific best practices that I just showed that I put in the best practices uh, MD file. Okay. So uh, it's actually listing out a bunch of best practices. You can see it here like PEP8 uh, compliance and uh, type annotations uh, and exception handling. These are things that are specific to my best practices that I defined. And now I'm getting a factor version of this uh, function aligned with my specific best practices. Um, and the cool thing here is that you can put this file in the repo and it can be then applied to all developers in a team, you know, or in an organization. Um, and another really cool thing about this is that this same file uh, that uh, sits here uh, in this folder, this best practices and the file can also be leveraged by our second product, uh, um, uh, Codo Merge, that is used to uh, help with pull requests. 
uh, and, and really help uh, create uh, better and more efficient code reviews and, and really refer to the best, these, best, these best practices as it suggests enhancements to, to a PR, for example. Okay, so this is uh, this uh, the best practices feature. I'm really excited about it. Um, maybe next, Itamar, I'll show a little bit about the new code completion. Yeah, go ahead. Great. So we launched a new code completion model that is way faster and way better, um, better performance, uh, faster responses, higher quality output, much longer context window. Um, so I'm just going to really briefly um, show an example here. So I'm here. This is a uh, web scraping tool. So I'm going to just add a new function and I'm do kind of how we kind of def. Um, you see, I didn't even I wasn't even able to type, and it already like gave me the the. Uh, completion, but I'm going to do kind of the F, uh, scrape something like this. I'm going to get the output and I'm going to get the full function. You see like really, really fast response. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really excited about this. This is a big, uh, big lift yeah. for, for all of our users. But hey, I just uh, got so a yeah. note uh, being told that we're also releasing this to the free users. Uh, do you approve or you want to <laughs> think about it? For uh, a second, but anyway. Sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Let's add a few. Two A one hundred to the cluster, and yeah, that's that's, well, that's the message that I just got. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, uh, Sagi, it's all yours. Show us a bit about how to select models. Thanks. Uh, let me just share my screen here. All right. Okay. So I want to introduce the model selection feature that we just had, um, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna generate tests using. Uh, GPT-01 and the quick test command. So can right. you share a bit what, what's the quick test command? What were you talking about? Of course. So right now, Kodo will do static analysis of the project of the code and find everything that is relevant to the selected lines here. That include dependencies and, and global constants and uh, documentation and stuff like that, that may help uh, generate uh, uh, better tests. Um, the first thing that uh, Kodo will do is uh, try to uh, capture the behaviors that those functions uh, mm -hmm. implement. And after list listing the behaviors, as you can see in the in the chat right now, he will try to implement a test for each behavior. Um, the cool thing is that he will explain why he select uh, each behavior. So you can see here, uh, this is a happy path. Uh, and if you read it and still don't understand why it is important, you can just show and get the reason why we do this, this test. Um, so it's not just about the test. It's important for you to understand why do we want to test it. Uh, now let's wait for awesome. the patience. Awesome, great. So what I understand that each command in Codogen like uh, applies different flow. Like we are all about talking a lot about uh, flow engineering in our alpha codium paper. Um, and, and then like different commands might use different flow. It's like a chain of thought specific for, for this use case. And like we can see, uh, 01 is really slow, the 01 preview. And can you share a bit when, oh, okay, but it came back. But if afterward you can share a bit when you think we should select what? Uh, I, can, awesome. I can give an example. So here in Kodo, uh, after we develop something, we need to write a test for each new feature. But uh, we need to explain to Itamar what we just did and how we test it. So uh, Itamar doesn't know it, but for a while, I'm using GPT-40 because it's faster. And this is when <laughs> I choose GPT-40. And I just ask him to summarize what I just tested. Okay, so uh, you're saying like when you think you want things and you have the time to have very accurate, uh, uh, you know, response using uh, GP, uh, like a 01 preview, but when you need like, for example, to write documentation or send me some explanation, it doesn't have to be maybe that accurate and uh, or it's good enough and you're doing that. Actually, That's awesome. Actually, GPT-40 is accurate, but if I want to use the heavy machine, then I move to 01. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, that that's great. Yeah, to and, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I was just gonna say we also have uh, Sonnet, uh, the new Sonnet three point five, 
which is also really, really good. So it's kind of like an, I would say it's kind of like an in-between kind of thing where um, it's it's a little bit slower than 4.0, um, but it is it is better at coding. So you do get higher quality output. It's not like the O1 that does the whole kind of a thinking process and takes a long, a very long time. So, but but yeah, you guys can like definitely um, experiment with these different models um, to see the output. Um, and the really cool part that uh, Sagi just showed that I want to highlight is that in the same chat, we're combining these different models. So it's almost like you have okay, kind of a direct line to the best models of the world mm -hmm. in one single place. And you can kind of converse with, with all of them, like one after the other. Awesome. Um, so and can one share... can refer to the output mm -hmm. of the previous one. Yeah. Th thanks a lot. Uh, Sagi, can you share like uh, two cents? When do you use uh, which model? Like yeah. what's your preferences? Uh, let's take this feature, for example, when I need to do something new and I want to just uh, plan it and brainstorm over it, then uh, I'm adding GPT-40 and Sonnet to the mix and just try to talk with them. They complete each other, they improve each other answers, and it's it's perfect, like a brainstorm with two uh, brilliant uh, engineers. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, let people try. Uh, reminding you, we just released uh, Codogen V0.12, uh, which is a pre-release version. You need to click on that and probably refresh your ID. You can try all these features, including autocomplete, etc. And we just released it also for free users, uh, all of these. And um, and then, for example, you can make the model adhere to best practices. Uh, uh, you, you can try to choose models and, and use the autocomplete. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope we can do it uh, more. Thanks, guys.